Hello my dear student friends welcome to engineering graphics through CAD laboratory I am Rakesh Valasa in this video lecture I am going to explain how to draw the projections of solids one solutions in AutoCAD software I have taken this problem from engineering drawing by Endeavor textbook let us see the given problem draw the projections of the following solids situated in the respective positions taking a side of the base 40 mm long or the diameter of the base 50 mm long and the axis 65 mm long the given question number c is a cone apex in the hp axis vertical and 40 mm in front of the vp i have de developed this 3d model in autocad software let us see the visualization in that model the first dear student first identify the given solid that is cone you can see here here given one condition is that this apex point is in the HP you can see here this apex point is in the HP and he has given one more one more important point this axis is vertical and 40 mm in front of the VP see here we can see that uh, true base shape in the top view that is circle and we can see the front view that is a reverse triangle shape this is the front view and this is the top view we need to draw these two views in the uh, in our solution now we know that first we need to draw the one xy line then draw the true shape for the given problem that is true shape is circle when when the observer seeing from top side that base is is appear that is appear like circle so that is 40 mm in front of the VP we know the uh, axis point that is axis is vertical and 40 mm in front of the VP first we need to locate the apex point that is uh, below XY take line command from this midpoint draw the 40 mm 40 mm line that is below the XY at that point at that point we need to draw the circle the circle diameter is 50 mm by using circle command C enter from this point draw the circle diameter 50 mm so take diameter D enter uh, diameter is 50 50 mm then click enter uh, the next step is we know that uh, divide the circle into number of equal parts so I'm going to draw one horizontal radius from this center dear students we know that how to divide a circle into number of equal parts that is uh, take array command E R enter select this object now click enter uh, choose polar uh, you can also turn on this dynamic uh, in dynamic input mode uh, now choose polar uh, space by center point of array this is my uh, center point you can see here uh, this circle is divided into six equal parts our requirement is eight equal parts so that's why choose items I enter then enter the number of equal parts that is eight eight enter now you can see here the circle is divided into eight equal parts now click escape button then you can give the notations in the counter clockwise direction you can start from here this is my start point T enter T enter this is my start point A small a uh, now copy this text and paste in uh, remaining points to B C this is D E F G and H now you can change the text change the rotation this is the B just by double click on this text and you can edit the text C this is D next uh, E then F G this is H this is the top view when the observer watching from top side these bases appear in the top view that is true shape 
next draw the uh, vertical projector from each and every every generator points this gives the generator points from a point draw the vertical projectors up to x y line from a next from b b and h are uh, same uh, vertical projector line b and h c e g already is there next from b and f next one from e point uh, here he has given one one important condition the apex point is the apex point is on hp and this axis should be vertical so this is appear like in the front view that is reverse triangle so first we need to draw the one axis line that is should be vertical uh, from this point and also locate the apex point in the top view this is uh, o, uh, o point bottom one is let us assume bottom one is uh, p point p is p point and uh, apex point is o Le so o is invisible and uh, base midpoint is p is visible so you can represent as p of o the next step is uh, this name is also o dash this is the apex point o dash uh, from o dash point draw the vertical axis this length is 65 now you can represent as dash dot line now select this axis line go to the properties toolbar and choose dash dot dash dot dash line you can also increase the uh, scale factor go to the properties toolbar line type click on other select uh, ISO long, long dash give the global scale factor 0 0.5 and current object scale is 0 0.5 ok ok if you want you can also increase the size if it is not visible you can also increase the size take 1 ok uh, ok now it is uh, clearly visible uh, next again again uh, extend this projectors up to 65 mm line take line command from each and every projector extend up to 65 mm because the axis is vertical and uh, axis length is 65 mm now copy this projector and you can paste in the remaining projector points ok this one L enter 65 mm L enter from 65 next also 65 otherwise you can copy and paste in uh, remaining projector points ok now join this end projectors now give the notations this is A dash this point is A dash next one is when the observer is watching uh, seeing from this side b visible h is invisible so b uh, b dash of h dash this is b dash of h dash next one c visible g invisible c dash of g dash c dash of g dash the next one D visible F is invisible D dash of F dash D dash of F dash the last one is E dash E dash ok 
when the observer watching uh, watching uh, watching from front side it is appear like reverse triangle so that's why you can join this a dash and o dash and o dash and e dash yes now you can also adjust this text you can move from now turn off ortho mode you can give here yes F next we need to give the dimension dli linear dimension by uh, by using this linear dimension you can give the axis length uh, select o dash point then c dash point uh, here p dash point is also here that is uh, overlapped so this is 65 mm next view the diameter d d i now select the circle and you can give 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 here Uh, dear students after completion of the solution uh, we need to give the we need to apply the line weight for front view and top view now select this front view reverse triangle shape and uh, this circle go to the properties toolbar choose line weight and select 0.30 mm see here uh, this is the final solution for the given problem This is a very very simple problem in projections of solids one. Uh, dear students, uh, just uh, for the solution, you can also draw only circle and triangle. No, uh, no need to draw, no need to divide the circle into number of equal parts, and no need to draw this all projectors. If the problem is extens extended, then you can div divide the circle into number of equal parts. For constructing uh, smooth curve, for getting smooth curve. Otherwise, just you can draw only circle and reverse triangle. That's that's enough. I hope uh, this solution is very clear to everyone. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates and also share to your near and dear friends and also your relatives.